I'm David Smith, the CTO of Croquet, and what you're looking at is uh, Croquet Microverse, a world we built called Mythos. And Mythos is um, this really cool um, landscape. Everything inside here is multi-user. Uh, there's actually uh, three users inside the world right now. I'll just move this one forward. This is uh, Alice. And she's looking back, and you see Alice sees the Ned Hatter, as well as the Red Queen. And um, what's really nice about this world is, first of all, everything is synchronized. Even the grass, when the wind blows, it, it, it's synchronized. Uh, uh, just realizing that you see that horse sort of out the uh, out there um, towards the horizon. Uh, he's also synchronized. Everything you see is, is perfectly synced, but fully interactive. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that in a bit. But our three users have an ability to move around this space and uh, uh, basically it's a very large, large, large environment. It's procedural. We're using uh, uh, Perla noise to generate this kind of, of world, and uh, and so what that means is that those hills you see in the horizon you can get to, you can actually walk over there and explore that world if you so choose. There goes our horse, and um, but what's really fun about this one, this world here, uh, is I'm going to start populating it with uh, a number of, of bots. I just got lost, I'm gonna have to jump back to uh, home. So here we are. Um, and uh, to do that, I'm gonna have uh, all of us um, look in the, in, in the same direction here. Because what I wanna do is uh, I'm going to have this person uh, drop uh, a couple of, of bots around them. So I'm going to just press uh, one. And so that generates 10 bots. Notice that they run away. Um, uh, they are very sensitive. And so that one coming over the hill is moving, doesn't see me yet. But then I move forward, he'll turn around and run away. Uh, which is, I think, really fun. So what we're going to do here is, this is just 10, uh, 10 NPCs. I'm going to generate 100 of them. As you can see, actually, what I want to do here, I'm going to, oops, our horse went by again. I'm going to have uh, two of the users are going to be synchronized so that the third one uh, can move in front and generate some more bots. And I'm just going to have that user uh, walk around. Now, what's going on is that third user we see out there is generating a replicated event. Basically says, hey, make 100 bots. And the way Croquet works is that message gets sent to uh, a reflector, which is a kind of server that has no application state. All the reflector does is adds a uh, timestamp to that message and redistributes it. So I just added, you see I'm adding them out there in the distance. Um, and here we have this beautiful little temple. We're gonna go, uh, actually I, I wanna go back here on the hill behind it so that means I have to, to turn around over here so I can kind of see where we are on that. And I'm going to drop some more of these things. And, um, and so first of all, that event of creating these uh, bots is fully replicated. Uh, but so are all their actions. You see that I've, I've added a bunch of these. And uh, now I'm gonna come back to the top here and you see me again 
But what I'm going to do now is have one of the other um, avatars, other users, go and do the same thing. So we're just dropping these, these gray. And um, what's, what we're doing is uh, I'm just populating this world to show you that, in fact, with um, thousands of these, in fact, I'm going to switch to this guy, and I'm going to stop, stop him, and then I'm going to start him. So I'm synchronizing on the other user because I want to change the color, really. And um, so we're just adding uh, more of these. I, I, I probably have more than enough, actually. Um, but they're all running independently. They have, uh, in this case, relatively simple AIs that they're running, but there are thousands of them at this point. And so we're going to go up here and take a look at this. Now, our horse is out there somewhere, uh, I, um, and I want to get to a good vantage point because what's neat is when the horse comes through, he, um, he uh, just cuts a swath through them and it's really fun fun to watch because they, they're actually more afraid of the horse than of, of me um, and uh, should be able to see him soon he comes he comes around around pretty regularly is that him there no that's uh just more bots over on the horizon but you can see it, it, it's really kind of uh wonderful to see all these and they, they, they even reflect in the water there um, let me um, let me go over here. Actually, I'll drop some more just for fun. And um, I know he's there. He's always there. Just have to back up a little bit. Oh, there he is. I, I just missed him. You see him on the other side. Of, of the world by the, by the temple there. And you can see um, how all the uh, N NPCs are running away from him as you do that. Now, perfectly synchronized. Notice the left and right hand sides have exactly the same. See, he's cutting a whole right, uh, a path right through all those. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up into the air. Because what I wanna do is uh, see this. Notice that I've got a, a nice ring around me too. Actually, I'll just add a, a few more bots on this. See the horse there? And how he's just sort of plowing through um, these avatars, I mean, these NPCs. Um, and they're running away, running away from me. Do you see how they bounced? Uh, so they're trying to get away from the horse, and they're trying to get away from me. And uh, it's all happening. Just imagine trying to communicate that state across all these users. Uh, um, uh, simultaneous to maintain this complex interaction, but you see everybody, all the all the MP NPCs are in exactly the same location. I'll jump back into our head here, and you can see that in fact they're exactly the same, uh, in exactly the same state. That one is coming towards us on both. You can cross your eyes; you can see it is perfectly synchronized. Um, and this is, uh, what's going on is Croquet's built on this idea of a replicated uh, virtual machine, we call it the, the uh, collaborative kernel, and that replicated virtual machine runs bit identically on everybody's system. And so any kind of uh, simulation, deterministic simulation like these uh, NPCs um, are, are basically computing a path, computing interactions with other things, uh, at, but they're doing it uh, exactly the same on all the systems. There, there's our horse going by again. You can see he's, uh, you can see all the ruckus back there. And that means then I don't have to communicate all the state because the state is evolving exactly the same way on everybody's system where um, uh, where it changes, obviously, uh, when I'm interacting, 
that message is being sent into the middle of the simulation and all the uh, all those uh, NPCs respond to that instantly so not only do we have this ability to have a very shared large shared environment like this but we also have the ability to interact with that very large shared environment and um, and I, I'm just going to max this out a little bit because it first of all, it's fun. Um, and um, you can see, by the way, I used an al a simple algorithm to determine distance. I just look, are you uh, uh, this distance or, this, or, or between these two, which is a square, it's not a circle. Um, that's why you see that square show up, because all the, all the avatars within that square ran away at the same time. and so. That was what was left was a square. So, and you can see them, uh, you know, kind of as they get close. But the other thing is just look at how, just how many there are. Oh, there's our horse again. Actually, can I see him be go by? There he goes. And get out of my way, get out of my way. And there he goes. And you can see him just like the, uh, how the bots are just running away. Well, that's a simple demo of croquet. Thank you.